I have longed to hear your voice. Speak to me. <laughs> Indeed. Our time with them was certainly bracing. <laughs> Takes me back to some youthful misadventures in the Underdark. It was a long time ago. I was a foolhardy young druid, intent on seeing the beauty of nature's unworldly fauna and subterranean glow for myself. Certain events transpired, and I found myself a guest of a noble drow house for a time. Well, something between guest, prisoner, and consort, perhaps. A very likely outcome. In fact, I saw decorations of that very type, and worse, in my time there. But my luck held. The house matron took an interest in me, and the patron also. They saw me as a novelty, perhaps. I was chained in their bedchamber for nigh on three years. I waited for my chance and did what was necessary to survive. And perhaps a few things that were less than necessary. <laughs> Don't misunderstand me. I feared for my life and wanted my freedom back, but I was willing to wait for my moment. And eventually it came. Lolth's noble houses are constantly at each other's throats. And eventually, some rivals of my hosts sought to unseat them. It was chaos, drow against drow, the clash of blades echoing throughout caverns, the feel of warm blood that I could not see. I took my chance and fled while all were distracted. I never looked back until I breathed fresh air again, and never learned what came of my hosts. Time can prove to be a trickster on one's recollections. What would be multiple lifetimes for others now separate me from my captivity. Perhaps I have lost perspective on what happened to me. I have not had true confidants for some time. The Shadow Curse robbed me of almost all my peers and replaced them with the weight of responsibility. Perhaps that caused me to gild undeserving memories of my youth. I am lucky to have your counsel. It was sorely needed. No, I shall not take you for granted, nor my own past. What is the point of long life if one does not make room for reflection? <laughs> 